everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Nikki Wonder. Thank you for coming today and joining me for a subject that I would like to talk about here for a few minutes. And this is for, this is to be an encouraging video for all those, uh, women, mothers out there that, you know, sometimes you feel like, okay, you're not enough or you're overstressed or you're, you're thinned out. And sometimes you can take, you, you can, you can lose a sense of yourself. You know, I know personally I've had anxiety attacks where I just feel like I'm panicking cause I'm just, I'm not getting everything done or I'm just not taking care of everybody. And I just wanted to give you guys some tips and say, Hey, look, you're not the only one out there. Even Nikki wonder in her wonderland has, you know, moments where I just kind of lose my, you know, uh, self <laughs> sanity for a minute. And so the first thing I'm going to suggest to you guys, um, is to make sure that you count me time as an important obligation for yourselves. Um, it's easy to forget about yourself when you have soccer practice, you know, you have dinner, you have the boss on you at work, you have family obligations and other things. And you forget that, you know, sometimes you need to stop and say, wait a second, have I done anything for myself? Have I, um, stopped and read a book today? Have I read, read, I'm sorry, <laughs> have I read my scriptures? And, you know, have I said my mantras, if that's what your thing is, you know, what have you done today for yourself? And make sure that you, you know, take care of that. Another thing that I would suggest to you ladies out there is make sure you make things easy to do. Um, if you are, you know, you have a routine, you cook dinner every night for your family, or you have the same, you know, thing that you do set up or prepare for these things in advance. You know, for example, for dinner, prepare maybe the week before the night before so that it's not as hard to get that done the next day because then the stress level is actually lower. Um, I know in some cases I've tried to, uh, cook overcook, like maybe on a Sunday so that I don't have to cook until maybe Wednesday. And that takes some stress off of my plate. So I would advise you to prepare in advance for any known obligations that you have to make things easier for yourself and take some of your downtime to prepare for those instances. The next thing, and I am a big candidate of this, or I'm a big fan of this, I should say, make sure you take time to treat yourself. Ladies, you're hardworking at your jobs. Even if you're a stay at home mom, you know, you're working hard, you're keeping the home clean, you're, you're keeping everybody on schedule. Take a few moments to treat yourself. If it, if it, if it's your thing to get your feet done, if you like to get your hair done, if you like you know, like I like SLGs or purses or anything like that. Take a moment, take a few dollars or whatever and go do it. And don't feel bad about it because if you run the list of things you are doing against the one thing you're doing for yourself, the odds are the things you're doing is outweighing what you're treating yourself to. So don't ever feel guilty about that. And make sure you also have your girl time. That's your girlfriends, your you know, your mom, your sister or whomever that you confide in, make sure you treat yourself to time with them. That is very important. Another thing that I, I really have to, to indulge in this myself. And that is slowing down. Um, sometimes you're going, 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 you got off work. Now you got to cook. Now you got to take, you know, Sarah to ballet. You got to take Johnny to soccer practice stop for a second, say mommy needs some time to herself or mommy needs to go in her closet. Like that's my place, you know, or I need to go to my office and just turn off the lights and just listen to the silence or go outside and have a cup of coffee or something in which you are having a downtime. You are slowing down, turn the lights down. You know, that naturally calms us when the lights are down. Um, so you, you can do that type of thing just to give yourself a charge into the next thing that you're about to do or the next phase of your day or your week. Take some time to slow down. It's very important guys. And, and fight for that, <laughs> you know, turn the phone off and close the door. And, you know, if people knocking on the door or you're texting you, just ignore it. That is your time. And if you don't fight for that, who will, you know, so take some time for slowing down. And the last point that I would like to reiterate most importantly is know that you're not perfect. 
you're going to slip up. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to miss a beat and it's not the end of the world. No matter what anyone says to you, you are still a fabulous mother, a fabulous woman. You do great work, whatever it is you're doing. If you don't, you know, acknowledge your imperfections yourself, then it can be detrimental when someone else does. So go ahead and take that time to say, I'm not perfect. I know I'm, I missed a beat today, but guess what? The sun's coming up tomorrow and there's another day to come. So I hope that I have given you a little nugget of encouragement, ladies. It is a hard, hard life sometimes, but it's also great. And of course, when you can find a great bag or great pair of shoes, it makes things better, of course, in my world. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, put advice down below for all those super moms out there, all those wonder women who, you know, they, they do so many things and sometimes they need a little boost of encouragement. So I invite you to share that on my channel and I will be back soon with another video. Take care.